Good morning. I wanted to thank all of you for joining us today. Uh, first of all, thank you for everyone that has uh, noticed that we had a change of venue, obviously, with weather. We just want to make sure everyone was safe as they were able to join us today. I'd like to begin with a quote I've borrowed from our Attorney General. Government officials are the caretakers of the public trust, placed in positions of trust that affect the lives and finances of the public. Citizens of Georgia have a right to expect that their government officials will be beyond reproach. My journey to become Georgia's 10th commissioner was born out of the same frustration that many of you experienced before, during, and after the unprecedented pandemic. It's no secret that the agency's internal morale and external image have deteriorated over the past several years as the former leadership ignored the opportunities to re and requests to collaborate, cooperate, and communicate with the other state agencies, the legislative body, and the executive branch. Over the past decade, the Department of Labor has been plagued with rumors and reports of incompetence, misappropriation, and failure. This contentious disregard for other agencies and Georgia's constitutional requirement, it became so egregious at one point that it placed the state bond rating in jeopardy. For years, the executive branch and legislative branch have attempted to change the unhealthy relationship that existed with this agency and eliminate the silos built around it. After putting up with nearly a decade of obstructive behavior, the frustra frustrated legislature finally resorted to legislative maneuvers to get the attention of the agency's leadership. In 2021, a vote of no confidence from the General Assembly resulted in Senate Bill 156 successfully passing before ultimately being vetoed by the governor over constitutionality concerns. This bill created an appointed chief labor officer with similar powers and responsibilities to the labor commissioner as an attempt to gain insight and create transparency within this agency. In 2022, House Bill 1331 was signed into a law allowing <clears throat> the governor to designate the responsibility and the administration of the remaining federal and WIOA funds away from the Georgia Department of Labor and to the Technical College of Georgia, effectively reducing our budget by nearly $65 million. When I took office, my team and I began the monumental task of changing the culture of this struggling agency by immediately instituting a plan to identify deficiencies, vulnerabilities, and weaknesses that tarnish this agency for many years. With a focus on transparency and accountability, our goal was to rebuild confidence and trust while ushering in a new era of credibility. During the campaign, I made it clear I would ensure the agency would no longer be shrouded in secrecy and isolation, but would become cooperative and work in concert with the Inspector General, the Attorney General, the United States Department of Labor, and the State Auditor's Office to identify all levels of fraud and corruption associated with the Unemployment Benefit Trust Fund and this agency. 